Welcome back. Now we're gonna talk about a topic that's near and dear to my heart, and that's cloud management. Make sure to hit the subscribe button or the notification bell to stay up to date with all the new videos and content that's coming out. Let's get started. Cloud managed networking was introduced in the industry 10 to 12 years ago, and the main goal was to move some of the functionality that happened on premises into the cloud. This gave us some additional flexibility, scalability, and cost savings, as opposed to the traditional on-premises hardware-based networking management systems that companies had been using up to then. That was considered first-generation cloud networking. As an industry, as more people started adopting cloud and wanting to rely on that specifically for network management, we migrated into a second generation architecture. That architecture was focused more on security, a little bit more on anal analytics and resiliency, and was focused on continuous delivery to make sure the cloud was available when it was needed. But again, more and more people started depending on cloud and more people wanted to utilize that for their management plane as well. So some vendors migrated into a third generation cloud infrastructure. And the main components of this third generation were real-time innovation, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and continuous deployment. And this utilized the concepts of microservices that I went over earlier. Now, when Extreme acquired Arrowhive Networks in 2019, they acquired a platform called Hive Manager Next Generation. That was a third generation cloud platform. But over the last year or so, Extreme Cloud IQ has now migrated into a fourth generation cloud platform, and we are the only networking vendor that is utilizing this fourth generation cloud infrastructure. The main differentiators in the fourth generation cloud are things like dynamic segmentation, dynamic licensing and capacity, but also containerized microservices, which is a really exciting way to integrate additional applications into the cloud management plane. We also utilize concepts like dynamic resource pool and 11 nines of data durability, meaning that we're able to collect, process, and make available a large subset of information that's constantly traversing the network, whether it be through a wireless access point, a router, or a switch. Again, there's been a large migration in the cloud networking industry in general, from that first generation cloud 10 to 12 years ago, all the way up to the fourth generation cloud that Extreme is utilizing today.